All right, it's day eight. 4.17 a.m., Friday, June the 2nd, 2023, here in Taiwan. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> so I stayed home last night, and trust me, I really wanted to go out and get some dim sum, but that didn't happen, because I need to stay here and knit it. I could have gone out and eaten and all this stuff. I am invited. But the thing is, I personally do not want to go back home having work. You know, I want to get it done here and just go back home and rest. As you can see, these videos take time, you know, and like the yesterday's video, I was here all day, so I don't want to do that when I get back home. I want to like just do it right here, right? I didn't finish any of the videos that Pop brought yesterday, but he did. I just started all of them in the sense of like sync them up and did a rough cut, you know? Um, I knew I was, I was falling asleep, so I wanted to get at least that part down. So now all I need to do mainly is like go over them and um, cut out the mistakes or whatever and add the B-roll. Now, uh, there's a question I got this morning from uh, Sweet Dog 99 He's like, it's curious if my setup in the hotel room is less efficient for editing than when I have a home. Like, is it a like is a 15 minute video taking you longer to edit there or is it about the same? Um, edit time is not that big of a deal for me, right? It's more about comfort, really. Like editing in this setup, honestly, it's just very condensed and uncomfortable. I have to like force my vision to like see text and stuff like that or to find what I need. Yeah, it's mainly, this mainly it comes down to comfort, right? At home, I got my chair that's more comfortable. I have a table that I can adjust the height. So, like, you know, I have bigger monitors and stuff like that. So, yeah, it's more of comfort for me. Uh, but this setup I have is actually really good. This laptop is really good uh, to work. So, but yeah, it just comes down to mainly like comfort, really. So, if you're going to be sitting for a long time, you definitely want to be comfortable where you're working at. But, anyways, uh, that's all. That's it for now. I'm going to get back to work. I'll talk to you guys in a bit. And. Uh, I just finished all the videos, so I'm just like having a natural high right now. I'm just like, ah, fuck, I'm so done. Yeah, I was kind of worried I might have to like go home and take some work with me, but um, actually, um, these last few videos, Paul did a good job filming them, and also kind of like, towards the end, obviously, I developed a system that works for me to edit faster, you know? All right, um, just to get out of the way, first of all, most of all, up to this point, uh, I just want to say thanks again for fucking... <laughs> Uh, hanging out with me and stuff like that. Uh, I've been like uh, reading some of the comments and pause videos and like uh, some of you have been watching me and you guys have been leaving comments on his videos as well. So I appreciate that big time. Um, I'm glad uh, <laughs> uh, you guys see the, both sides of the camera now. His side of uh, things and my side of things, right? Uh, from past experiences, me like uh, taking work home, it's just, it's, I don't know, there's something about it. I just don't like it. I just want to be back home and that's it, right? I just want to like, finish work here when I'm working, you know what I'm saying? Now just to like, uh, I guess share some info or respond to some comments or questions. Uh, the whole, um, I hope you have a chance to go out and like go to the convention or enjoy yourself and stuff like that. Uh, comments, I I, I kind of read them on both my videos and then Paul's videos. Uh, I am happy here, don't worry. Even though I may seem like I'm bitching, be like, oh, I'm stuck in the room. Now I'm, you know, I'm, I'm glad that I'm here. The fact that I flew over here, spent some time in Taiwan. You know, my first early videos, you know, you see me having fun doing stuff, right? And then today, uh, is the last day of me being here in Taiwan. I'm gonna go out and uh, enjoy my time. We're gonna meet up with some other YouTubers. And I believe we're going to the night market and have some fun, right? So uh, I'm happy. Part of the reason why I wanted to finish. Nope, it's not in my head, it's done, it's over. The rest of the night I can just enjoy myself, and then tomorrow I go home. In regards to the going to a convention, um, it's not the first time that I've gone to these types of events and then I don't end up going to the convention, you know, the show floor. The thing is that like St. Paul usually shows up early, you know, he makes appointments early, so I only see like uh, products when the Paul schedules people on their suites, you know, for certain companies, and then like I check out certain things like that, like computers or whatever. That's like the only time I get to go out and see stuff in person, right? But the show floor, yeah, I usually don't end up going, right? Um, would I like to go? Of course. But for the most part, like, I just rather get work done, you know? That's just, uh, that's just how I am at the moment. I feel like, uh, for the most part, people that watch my stuff, they're either interested in editing, want to be an editor, art editing, or whatever. So uh, I get comments about, like, um, what advice they can give to edit faster, tips and shortcuts or whatever. And uh, yesterday, I was middle of nowhere, asked me like, uh, what do we do to like edit faster, get shit done quick or whatever. And I have ideas on like uh, doing tutorials, maybe one or two on certain topics about like, I want to show you the structure that uh, I created for myself to edit. 
you know, my folder structure, how I set up my project files and all the stuff like that. Um, certain tricks, there are the certain things I did to help me edit faster in this event because like certain things I do when I'm back home and I have time, I skipped over them to, to get these videos done, right? But still, they, they come out good, right? So I'm gonna show you some of that stuff when I get back home. I'll make a tutorial and so on and so forth, right? So yeah, uh, yeah, like I guess I'm just, I'm super happy that I got it done. I'm not, uh, it's like, ugh. It's like a massive weight off my head. I just, I'm so happy, right? So anyways, Pudge just showed up and um, probably the only thing I'm gonna have to do for him when I get back home is his vlog video. Cause you know, he's still filming and he needs to give me his footage and uh, I'll do that back home. But uh, with that one, I can take my time and you know, it's not really a priority. Not like the, like these event videos that we did. So anyways, uh, yeah, I'm gonna enjoy the rest of my day here and uh, see what else I can do. See you in a bit. Snap. <laughs> All right, gonna make this quick because I'm running out of time. <sighs> Being that my last day here, obviously I wanna fucking max out as much as I can <laughs> before I fucking head back home. Oh, by the way, I read a few comments saying that like I should cuss less because uh, they could bring in more people or something like that. Uh, <laughs> welcome to the channel. No, that ain't happening. Yeah, Paul is setting up something to meet up with a bunch of people and stuff like that. Just like a giant gathering of the tech tubers. So I wanted to go somewhere away from the fucking malls because I'm <laughs> being on the fucking tourist area. There's always malls everywhere here and stores and just bougie shit I don't care about. Looking at Google Maps, I found a museum or a memorial hall for Mr. Doctor's son, Yat Sen. I'm very sure I destroyed that name, but I don't mean to disrespect Mr. Dr. Sen, because uh, it turns out that this guy, he's the one that basically, he's the guy that basically set up a revolution, because at that time, like, uh, Taiwan territory was occupied by Japan because of a war that happened. So he set up a revolution and he, t he took Taiwan back from the Japanese and he helped create what basically Taiwan is today. He's basically the guy that's on the $100 bill, from my understanding. But anyways, that's kind of cool. Yeah, I mean, like, I, I love the architecture, you know, like, they had, like, kind of a garden, but it was kind of closed off, so they were fixed and that, so I couldn't go in there. Besides, it was fucking hot, so I went inside, and I walked around, and, like, uh, at first, they had some halls where they had, like, you know, traditional, you know, drawings, and it was, like, cool, but it's not my thing. But there was, like, a room that had, like, more of, like, the crazy modern art shit, so I got excited about that. I guess, like, it was, like, sex-themed in one way or another. They had, like, this one weird machine that was, like, smacking meat. Like, it's just some like air, airtight steel meat being smacked by a machine. I don't know, I guess to represent masturbation, my guess. I don't fucking know. It just fucking looked weird. They got some other cool, like traditional art and, and like uh, kind of like vases and stuff like that that I checked out. It was pretty neat. Being stuck in the roof for like two days straight, and, like walking around felt kind of tiring. Yeah, my legs were like, what the fuck are you doing? You're walking. Yeah. But, anyways, uh, it's like 519. The meetup is at like six o'clock. So, I got about 30 minutes to. Some will put this together, what I'm doing right now, and then I'm gonna go hang out, and then I'm gonna end the night, you know, with whatever I film tonight, and then like, you know, end the video for tonight. Happy to go back home, but sad to leave, you know? All right, I'll see you guys in a bit. And a snap. All right, a bit of a bad news. After like the last little section of my video, I met up with Paul and we crossed the street to like meet up with some people and stuff like that. The thing is like, after I came back from my little walk, you know, it's pretty hot right now. Like the moment I got into like the house, the, the room here, and I started feeling dizzy and nauseous and whatever. And like, I walked across the street with a paw and I'm like, dude, I do not feel good. I have to get back to the room. As soon as I got back, like five minutes later, I started throwing up. <laughs> you know, I, I took my clothes off and I, it was like, ugh, I think I had heat exhaustion. After I threw up and it cooled off a bit, I feel a lot better now. So that being said, I got this thing. And right here, I'm gonna end the video. I'm gonna take a fucking bath and chill the fuck out. I'm gonna edit this video. I'm gonna start packing and crash the fuck out. I'm gonna rest. I'm done. <laughs> I'm not gonna push myself anymore. And with that, I end the night. Good night. <laughs>